Hey lug nuts, welcome to Lug Unplugged. It's me, Meredith here. Today I have the Dory. So you may recall the Dory Mini was a huge hit. It came out in all the like neon colors first. Well, the Dory was just sent to me in the holiday surprise box. So I didn't know it was coming and I'm really pumped it's here because I thought the Dory was a little too small for me. This really seems like a nice size bag. Let me walk you through it. First, this coloration is called Winter Holly. Holly Winter? Something, where did I put the tag? Yeah, Winter Holly. Um, and so you can kind of see it's got lots of, it's like a walnut brown on top of a black with some white accents across it. Um, I would say that this holly makes it feel more Christmassy, but the rest, I mean, the rest it just is kind of like a regular wintery theme. So I really like it. I like how subtle it is. Um, the pattern, it's not too big, it's not too bold, it's not too Christmassy, you know, because we they have lots of prints that are a little bit more Christmassy. Um, if you want to do snowflake, like the snowflake print or whatever, um, and this is definitely a much more subtle silhouette. It has the charm bar on the front, so I put the little snowflake charm that also came in my winter surprise box. Uh, but you can take that off. The charm bar is there for you to add, you know, your initials or whatever you want. The You can use the uh, decorated side or the undecorated side that just says lug if you prefer something a little bit more streamlined. I usually use the back side of the, um, my name is Meredith, so the M can go backwards or forwards and I can just switch it depending on how I'm feeling. The strap it has is a crossbody. It's one and a half inches and it has the same print on it. It looks great. You've got the D-rings on both sides so you can connect it. Uh, it has the two tote handles up here. I keep, I just got this so I just keep finding these little plastic things. Um, it's got two tote handles up at the top. The bottom has four feet, which there's plastic on them. I'll take that off too sometime. Um, four feet, the, it's not wipeable, but it, you know, and it feels pretty structured. Um, so there's, there's a board of some kind inside, I'm confident. When you look at the side, it's got a triangle shape. Both sides do, but there's no cargo pocket for a water bottle. Okay, so you'll notice there's no phone pocket right here, which is where we would usually expect it. But when you open it up, there's sort of three things. So I'm gonna close the interior. You can see the zipper, but it's when you pull. You've got a fleece line pocket there and there. So a spot for your phone, a spot for your sunglasses. Um, here's the only downside. It's the mini Dory. It was easier to just kind of pop that side open. This one, it is not as easy to pop the side open just to get your phone. You're gonna have to use like, it's a two hand. It's a one to kind of prop, pry it open, especially if you have the interior open. So here is the interior. Look at that cute like leaf pattern. What are these, like pine cones? You know, if, it looks like grapes. These look like grapes to me. Uh, but it's in this beautiful yellow, which makes it really easy to see inside. There's your key bungee. Great spot for it. Um, this wall has a privacy zip pocket behind two cargo pockets in front. C1, C2 cargo pockets. The key bungee is right there. We keep rotating it over to the clear view pocket, a single clear view pocket that goes from the middle to the bottom of the bag. And then this side doesn't seem to have any organization. Um, looking to make sure I'm not missing any obvious pen slots, because sometimes I do. Um, but that's, that's it. You've got the interior, you've got the two exterior fleece lined pockets um, but the the gem of this are the tote handles the shape 
and the cell phone pockets being a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more on the side and hidden um, so that you've got that, that ability to just quick grab it. By the way, these tote handles are just the fabric kind of sewn in half. So they're not super soft, um, but they do fit over my wrist if I need to just kind of grab it and go. So that's the Dory. Um, there's a Dory Mini. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in learning more about that. It's also a Dory XL, which is a much, much bigger bag to be used. So this is the Dory OG, even though it wasn't the first one out, it was the third. This is the general Dory size. I'd be interested to see if they come up with like a Dory large as like a tote bag more, um, more style uh, between the XL and this. But we'll just have to wait and see if Lug ever does that. With that, that's all I have on the Dory. Thanks for watching.